in other news concerning trainers and all things streetwear, we have the most important bit of news of the season. Sakai and Nike have finally announced a date for the Vapor Waffle that's meant to come out. Um, maybe, maybe my favorite of the Sakai collaborations, maybe apart from the LDV Waffle that I have, but I think these are tr these kind of trumpet just in terms of just how nuts they look. They of course remind you a little bit of the Balenciaga Triple S's, which I have somewhere in the box over there. I can't bother to get them out, but yeah, they remind me a lot of the Balenciaga Triple S's, right, with a triple sole. But of course, the upper on these looks a, li a lot more sleek, a lot more of a subtle silhouette. Even though the sole itself is, you know, completely, completely overblown, so it's called color there. But lovely, lovely, lovely shoe. Um, article here from um, Hype Beast, Sakai and Nike Wave for Waffle. Vapor Waffle, sorry, receives official release date. Um, it says here, sneaker lovers the world over have been thirsting after the Sakai Nike wa Vapor Waffle since Sakai's fall winter runway show at Paris Fashion Week in January. Wow, man, time's gone by so quickly, isn't it? God damn it. And now after a long nine months of teasers, rumors and speculation and leaked photos, Nike has finally announced the sneaker's official release date, combining elements of two influential Nike running silhouettes, the 1983 Pegasus and the 2017 World Smashing Vaporfly. The Vapor Waffle is an intricate homage to the Sushi's history and an apt follow-up to the Sakai ultra-popular LDV Waffle which i have in my possession um look at that look how beautiful that looks man again colorway wise i think there's about four right featured in the in the lookbook so we saw on the runway there's these two these two colorways you've got the white and the black and then you've got the sort of reggae color that i kind of call and then you've got like a purple so quite similar to the ldv waffle lineup if you think about it um again great really 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 well done man obviously the thing that's gonna happen unfortunately is that they're gonna put these out or they're going to release these and then like they do with most trainers on the nike they're probably going to release these in the, as a gr later on down the line and they're going to get completely flooded in the market so if there's an opportunity to get a pair i, I do implore you to get these whilst you can and wear them as soon as you can right just as soon as they arrive in your house just pop them on even if you go to the shops or to go take a shit just make sure you wear them as soon as you can because once these hit the gr market i've got a feeling they're going to be very 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 popular but yeah, what a shoe. I actually love these pits too. Uh, just above the eyelets where you've got the sort of printed, the same sort of thing you've got with the printed swoosh. You've got this sort of printed eyelet thing there. That looks incredibly, incredibly good. Whether, I wonder if we'll see a fragment collaboration of these as well because we saw the same thing with the LDV Waffle, right? We saw like a fragment Sakai sort of link up, you know, link it up with all the Japan Nike mandem. But look at that. The double tongue, the double logo at the back there, the double laces. Oh, such a good shoe, man. Watch great execution. This is what you want to see when where fashion brands collaborate with sneaker companies, right? You don't just want them to, you know, just change a colorway on an existing existing model. You want them to apply a bit of their um fashion um expertise and eye the idea of kind of twisting and warping and bending things and pulling stuff apart which you will do with clothes right kind of coming at it from a more let's say kind of pragmatic point of view and maybe a little bit more esoteric right you're sort of going for it and you love you love that approach with these it looks so so good Anyway, article continues. Although multiple colorways have been previewed over the course of the year, the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle set to kick off their festivities with a sporty white, red, and blue, and a Sakai and a stark black, white makeups. Each is centered around a doubled stacked midsole with an elongated heel and a raised lip. Atop is a fashion forward foam ensemble. So it's a mesh suede and leather upper and features and furthers a Sakai designer, uh, Chisui Abe, um, twice as nice aesthetic. Tongue swooshes and heel branding and laces are all doubled up, and the experiment with the different tones and textures, for example, one swoosh on each shoe is presented in leather a la the Pegasus, while the other is printed low slung, dropping down into the midsole in the Vaporfly style. A simple stripe back mesh base and a Bill Bowman esque waffle outsole around each look. Both colorways of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle are set to release on Nike Sneakers app come November 13th. Oh, ho, ho. So many L's, man, and are priced at hundred eighty dollars. So, I'm guessing about the same price in the UK. I'm guessing one sixty nine, one fifty odd for the UK price. Again, man, that sneakers app has been kind to me this year. I picked up the Fragment Freeze. Um, I picked up what else did I get from there? Oh, I got the Unions. No, I didn't get the sneakers. I did I? But anyway, my only raffle wins this year have been the Fragment Jordan Freeze, the Union. Um, 
Air Jordan 4s in black, the noir colorway. And then I got a pair of those Denim Tears Converses, but, you know, they were available. They were kind of via raffle on Good Hood, but when you went on any of their store, they're still available now for retail. So that was a bit disappointing, but still, um, not a lot of wins, in it, for a whole year, a whole calendar year of shoes. So let's see if I can end the year strong and get a pair. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to go get a pair yourself. Are you looking forward to them? Um, do you think you'll have a chance for your sneakers? Are you disappointed on the lineup of the colorways that are available? Or do you think... Actually, I think they're going to release the other two, right? I'm pretty sure. There's definitely four colorways in mind. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Will you get a pair? Are you confident of securing them via sneakers? Or will you be just doing like everyone else and just waiting until they drop on StockX? Let me know in the comments down below.